Freddy bounces back and is now a Category 4 Equivalent Cyclone. As Freddy completes its fifth night, morning rises over a category 4 storm at 15.2 degrees south and 101 degrees east with a wind speed of 130 miles an hour or 210 kilometers per hour in one minute winds, a central pressure of 949 millibars or 28.02 inches of mercury and it is moving just slightly south of west at 13 miles an hour or 21 kilometers per hour. The wind fields of this system remain relatively small despite the storm of this caliber, 80 nautical miles to the northeastern side of the storm, 105 to the entire southern side, and 85 nautical miles to the northwestern side of this system. It is currently 347 miles away from West Island, uh, 443 from Christmas Island, 734 from Jakarta, 977 from Exmouth in Western Australia, and 1487 from Perth also in Western Australia. That's 558 kilometers away from West Island, uh, 713 kilometers away from Christmas Island, 1181 from Jakarta, 1572 from Exmouth and 2393 mi uh, miles, kilometers away from Perth. So here's the latest coming from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. As the system continues just slightly south of west, it is expected to weaken from this point onwards, at least according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center right about now. The partly due to this is because sea surface temperatures as the system continues slightly south of west, uh, it will encounter um, sea surface temperatures of around the same uh, degrees, but they won't be as warm as they once were. Speaking of the models, this is basically a, the last hurrah for the system. According to the models, deep layer shear right now is quite high, but it is expected to decline in a few days' time. Sea surface temperatures are on a gradual decline, as well as mid-level relative humidity at least for the time being. So, like I said, Freddy has completed its fifth night, a morning rises over Freddy, which is right now a category four system.